So this is going to be the first session of the little short videos I'm going to do on the uh, new Computer Cut Pro and a uh, little bit of the differences between the new and the old. So the first time that you're going to pull up the uh, program, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to set up your plotter so that you can cut. So um, you can go up to File and Cut Window, and it pulls up the Cut Window here. And what will happen is if you haven't set it up, the first time you go to Cut, it's going to pop up a window to set up your uh, plotter. Um, but if you want to set it up yourself, you just go up to File and go to Install, Cutting Devices. And in this case, I already have our Jaguar 5 plotter uh, installed. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of mimic uh, installing a uh, GraphTech plotter. Okay. So uh, you would go and you select GraphTech and click Next. And pulls up all of the different GraphTech plotters. Now this is the uh, big, big plus uh, compared to the old computer cut because the old computer cut um, we literally had to install the, plot, the drivers separately and uh, we couldn't drive a lot of plotters and it literally was a nightmare for us. But now all of the plotters are, the drivers are part of the program so it makes it very easy to install a plotter. So uh, in this case we're going to do the FC9000. Now the thing with the GraphTex is there's two types of languages for the GraphTech, GPGL and HPGL. I don't know why uh, they have their own language which is GPL because the most common language of all printers is HPGL. So just if you have a GraphTech, make sure that you're selecting HPGL. So we'll collect, select HPGL. And then it should uh, automatically, if you have the GraphTech installed, it'll say GraphTech USB. Um, but because I don't have a GraphTech to install, um, it, it's saying GCC USB. So um, click Finish. And go ahead and try and cut. And if you, if it doesn't cut, then it's probably because of the uh, way in which you are connected to the plotter. Now there's two types, two main types of connection to the plotter. The first type, which is probably the more important one, is what we call a USB cable. It's, you know, like a printer cable. This is it here. This plugs into your plotter and then this plugs into your computer. This is the preferred connection because the other type of connection is your USB to serial cable, which is this one here. And um, when you install this, it has to install the driver for this USB to serial connection. And also these have little computer chips in them, which, uh, you know, it, they work fine, but uh, they can cause some problems. So the uh, preferred way to uh, connect would be using the straight USB connection printer cable like that okay so if it doesn't cut go to cut plotting defaults and um, go into here I'm gonna switch over to my my Jaguar okay and this is the great part again we couldn't do this in the old computer cut in the new one we can you can drive a number of different plotters. Um, all you have to do is just uh, select them. So um, in here, you're going to go to Setup, and then Port. And, you know, if you're connected using a, a, a USB, it'll show up as GCC USB or GraphTech USB or some type of USB connection. And you just select that, and it should connect. Now. If you're connected using the USB to serial cable, when you click on here, you'll see at the top here, it'll say like COM3 prolific USB to serial or COM4 prolific USB to serial, uh, and you would select that 
and uh, click apply and you're good to go. So a couple other things to watch out for. You want to make sure that the sort option is selected. What that does is when it cuts, it sorts it so it goes from the front to the back. If this is not checked, it could cut a rear window over here and a window over there. So you want to make sure that that is checked in here. Also under tool options, um, you can actually drive, you know, different uh, functions on the plotter from the program itself, but you know, I don't think it's really that necessary, but if the plotter is doing some strange things, you might go in here and make sure that all of these are unchecked. And then also under setup, and this was a uh, uh, comment that I received from another a number of the old uh, computer cut dealers, is they want it to feed out after it finishes the cut. Well, you can do that in the program right here. You just go to... Uh, down here, additional X move at end, and put in whatever amount you want it to feed out um, for the uh, for the Jaguar. You know, five inches takes it to that little cut uh, indentation on the front of the plotter. So you can uh, just put whatever amount you want, and it will feed it out after it cuts um, that amount of distance. And that's about it for. Uh, setting up the plotter except for one thing which is right here okay um, when uh, in the when I watch people bring in uh, patterns into the cut window I'm gonna close this out here and uh, I'm gonna pull up a car okay I have pulled up these two windows here and um, you know they're pre set up to cut on a 40 inch all you got to do is hit the cut button and you'll cut them but what I notice a lot of times is you should be able to just cut these without having any problems but apparently some people uh, when they cut it um, it cuts off the bottom here so I always see people you know before they go to cut they'll click on here and they'll move this thing up a little bit and uh, and then cut it um, you know, it, you shouldn't have to do that. So there's a couple of different things that you can do. And one thing that you can do with the, this program that you could not do in the old computer cut is you can actually have it automatically move it up. Okay. So you just go in here, go to plotting defaults and right here, move. So your X move is this way. And then your Y is, is, uh, this way. So let's say you want to move this window up uh, just a little bit because it cuts off the bottom there. So you go to the Y move right here and let's say maybe it's a quarter inch. So you just put 0.25 in there and you know, let's say the front part here is uh, also getting cut off so you can move it from right to left a quarter inch right there and click apply and then close and then when you cut this it's going to artificially move this up a quarter inch and move this back a quarter inch so you don't have to move anything at all another thing you can do if you don't want to do that if you can if you click on the pattern rather than manually moving it all you have to do is just click your up arrow on your keyboard okay and you can see how it moves it up okay so you can just you know if you want you can just hit your tap your up arrow a couple of uh, taps and um, you you can cut it 